Hello everyone, welcome to a, another random review video. And as you can see from the artwork in the back, it's our 200 subscriber special. Hooray! So my lovely apprentices have made a lovely sign to go in the back with a space rocket on the top. Uh-uh. What's that? It's a knife. A knife. Oh, a knife and a star. Perfect. Everything we need. Okay, so what we're going to do for this video is um, a look at my favourite UK EDC knives. Now, I've had a bit more experience um, from the time I previously did one of these lists. And I'm going to make this a little bit more scientific and a bit more uh, of a rationale behind it. So I've listed my priorities for a good UK legal carry knife. So the first priority is it must be legal for the UK. And that rules out things like this which is a locking blade with a liner lock. Uh -huh. So things like that will not be on my list. Mm. The next thing is it has to be one hand opening. So things like the famous Victorinox knives will not be on my list because I use one hand opening all the time and doing this with two hands is a bit of a pain. Uh. Next priority, it must be nice to carry. So I'm looking for deep carry uh, pocket clips. I'm looking for um, a nice easy uh, way to get it in and out of the pocket. Um, I also want to have a bit of a feel-good factor on the knife because um, I don't tend to need to use a knife all that often so I want it to feel nice in the hand. I want it to be something I look forward to using and, and picking up from the desk there. And I think one of the biggest priorities for me is that it must be safe to use. Now this sounds a bit overkill. Obviously you're not going to be chopping off your finger or anything with a a little folding knife but there are some designs that are more safe than others and I'm going to go into that when I start looking at the shortlist here. So in fifth place I'm going to go for the Boca Plus XS. Cool. Okay so this is a quite a safe knife to use it's got this finger choil so it makes it very difficult to close that on your hand. Um, in terms of legality, it is legal. It's got a cutting uh, length of less than three inches, but it does look like it's pushing the boundaries. And so if a policeman saw you with this knife, he may come and question you about it or maybe even confiscate that because it's on the border in terms of what you're allowed to carry. So for that reason, that's in my fifth place. Also, the pocket clip is not very good. It's not a very deep carry. Okay, next place, I have the CRKT Pilar. So this has a nice one hand opening like all my other knives. Um, it's a, a much shorter blade. And again, it's got the forward finger choil. In terms of safety, I find that when you're closing this, um, it, there's no half stop on here. So it's difficult to make sure you put that in a safe position for your fingers. Um, and also it's a bit thicker than I would like in the pocket. Okay, in third place, we have the Spyderco Urban. Again, it's a decent knife if you're looking for an all-rounder uh, pocket knife for the UK. It's a bit shorter than some of the other blades on this list, so um, it's less likely to attract attention. Um, I do find that the back spring is a bit stiff, and it tends to be the case that um, this one's worn in a bit, but when it was new, you had to put an awful lot of force on to close the blade. And as you're trying to position your fingers to close that, there is a danger that your finger could overlap. And then when it does come down, it comes down with, with quite a lot of force. So that could potentially cause a, 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 an injury. In second place, we have the Spyderco UK PK. Now, this one is the one with the really good steel, the uh, S110V, which has a very good edge retention. So if you were in a, rob, uh, a roll or a job where you had to cut lots and lots of things in one day, this will stay sharp for the longest. OK, so... You need to consider your steels as well if you're new to life connecting. So I've got two of these. I've got the um, S110V and the, the latest one, which is also often considered to be the best UKPK, is the Heine Haynes Special Edition. Um, now, my niggles I have with these, okay? This one, most of these Spydercos come with this FRN, fibre reinforced nylon, as a, a plastic handle. And it just feels a bit cheap. Okay. And that's where this one feels much better in the hand. This is made out of G10, which is like a layered um, uh, fibrous material um, bonded with like plastic. 
Um, the the issue I have with this is that this is so grippy. As you put it in and out of your trousers, you can feel it really rubbing on the trousers. And I think that's going to wear prematurely on your trousers there. Um, and it makes it a little bit hard to pull out of the pocket. So for, for that reason, I'm not a huge fan of using this in terms of a day-to-day -day carry because I just find it just wears the, the trousers through quite quickly. Okay, in first place, it'll be no surprise that we have da -da -da! the Real Steel Luna. I've always raved on about this knife. This is the, the cheapest standard one. This is the Heine Haynes Special Edition that they were doing uh, a few months back in the Red G10. Now, I do have one caveat, is that I'm only considering the Luna with a an optional stud fitted. Now, you'd have to buy this separately but this turns it into a really nice one hand opener. Okay, so I've got the, the red version. And I have the blacked out version, which is, I would say the most discreet knife I have, because if I'm wearing black clothes and I uh, pull that out and open a packet, no one will even see that. There's no flash from the blade with the black coating on the blade. Um, so that's great. But my all time favorite UK EDC knife is... Da -da -da. The Titanium Real Steel Luna. Now, I think these Lunas are one of the safest knives I've ever owned. Um, they have the half stop, which is beyond halfway. Normally, it will be closing at this 90 degree position. And this jimping, this rough area on the underside of the blade. don't know if you can see that. But it means, even if you do try and close a knife, it kind of pushes your finger away. I don't know if you can see that working. It moves your finger away from that cutting area. Now, if I compare that to the UK PK, there's been times when I'm closing this to the half stop. Look how close that gets to my finger. And I have cut myself, uh, just nicked it very ever so gently a few times now on this part of the finger here. Now, it's a very gentle nick, but it's one of those really annoying things because as soon as you nick your skin like that, and if you get any kind of germs or bacteria in there, you can get a bit of a... Uh, a reaction and it gets very sore for a week or so but with the with the real steel luna i've just never ever cut myself they've been fantastic knives and this one with the titanium handle just feels absolutely superb so if you just wanted one uk legal everyday carry knife i would highly recommend the real steel luna especially this titanium version Okay, I hope that was interesting. I just thought I'd do a, a rehash of a, a video we've previously done now that I've got a bit more experience with carrying these knives. Um, and I re really have decided which is my favourite. So, although these are a great contender, it's the Real Steel Luna which really does win my vote. Um, and that's the one I'd go for. So I hope that was useful for someone. Um, thanks again for subscribing and liking and, and commenting on the videos. It really just helped me out. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye, everyone on YouTube. Bye-bye. See you next time. Again. Again. Right, that's it. Where am I going to put this?